I think it was hate, I think it was fear, intimidation uh, for this event not to take place. A local church pastor appealing for information after vandals left their mark hours before a controversial worship leader was set to lead an event. As ABC 10 News reporter Michael Chen found out, the church agreed to the last minute invite because of the weather. Found a rock or something and threw it and made a big hole. Days later, the reminders of a vandalism spree remain. Shocked and saddened. Troy Singletary is lead pastor at City View Assemblies of God Church in Mission Valley. I wasn't angry. Um, I was just really saddened. Just before Christmas, the church held this holiday gathering for Ukrainian refugees. Days later, Pastor Singletary got a request. Sean Foyt, founder of the Let Us Worship movement, who has taken aim at COVID restrictions and the Black Lives Matter movement, needed a new indoor New Year's Eve venue because of the rainy forecast. Pastor Singletary agreed to host the free praise and worship event. There was a need and we met it. It was a worship night. It was a night to bring in a new year. Uh, you know, just loving God. Less than 24 hours before it was to take place, this early morning discovery, a door and window shattered across two buildings, three to four dozen taggings, which appeared to go after Foyk's event. In total, the cost of the damage from repairing the shattered window to power washing and painting over the graffiti will top more than $10,000. It was hate, I think it was fear, intimidation. Uh, for this event not to take place. Hours after the vandalism was discovered, dozens of volunteers turned up to help clean up. When I came here probably around 8 o'clock, was cleaned up by 2 o'clock, and it was incredible. On New Year's Eve, some 1,700 would show up for the event. Pastor Singletary, who says he forgives the vandals, still hopes they are identified. I think anyone should be accountable for something that they've done that, that involves hate. Michael Chen, ABC 10 News. In the past few hours, a San Diego police spokesperson confirmed they are investigating the incident as a possible hate crime.